The 22nd Confederation of African Football Awards is currently underway in Lagos, Nigeria. Over 30 members of African fo football fraternity are waiting expectantly to know who will claim top honors tonight. The host nation has been nominated in five out of the 13 categories, and the locals say the country deserves all the awards. After years of a malaise in the top order of the It's Football, Nigeria fans find they had something to smile about in 2013 when the Stephen Keshi led Super Eagles won the Cup of Nations in South Africa. The performance brought back the fans' belief in their team, and many hope the good form can continue even as the Super Eagles head to the World Cup. But tonight, many will be glued to their TV sets to see if their compatriots can come away as Africa's best. They deserve to win the five category. African Nation Cup 2013. The way Mikel take out Yaya Turi and Drogba, Nigeria against Kotova, the way he take them out, very fantastic, very lovely. Nobody, even you, can, you cannot even find your actually on the pitch. The best entertainment is supporter club throughout the whole Africa is Nigeria. We do it. We know how to play our samba, we play our beats, we sing, we dance, and we do all this paparazzi. Carry on Nigeria, great Nigeria, great country, great nation. Yes, and he catches the draft of coach of the year because he's trying, because he gets record let me say no coach has ever get in in, in in this africa to as a player to carry nation's cup as a coach again to carry the nation's cup is not easy the, the catch you deserve the, the um, african coach of the year a possible move to hold the 2022 Qatar World Cup in winter rather than the traditional summer period has continued to gather support. The International Players Union and the German Football Union both voiced their support for the move despite the possible controversy it could create. FIFA Secretary General Jerome Valke made the surprise statement Wednesday during a radio interview. The average temperature in the summer months in the Middle Eastern country fluctuates between 35 and 45 degrees Celsius. Holding the tournament in the proposed winter demands would however result in massive disruptions to football leagues around the world and possibly to other sports as well. However, in a statement FIFA added that consultations were still ongoing before a final decision is reached. For us it's good news because we have been fighting for quite a while for players not to have to play in extreme temperatures as would be the case so we have been insisting that the games be pushed back to a colder season, winter. As I said various times, I too from the standpoint of the German Football Association consider it impossible to host the World Cup during the summertime. The FIFA president clearly heralded the winter. Is this, uh, the winter to begin? Two-time World Rally champion Carlos Sainz moved into the overall lead of the Dakar Rally on Stage 4 Wednesday between San Juan and Chilaquito in Argentina. Bike riders completed 352 kilometers in a shorter stage on the day as Spain's one Pedro Garcia won the stage ahead of Francisco Lopez Contado of Chile. In the car division, Sainz led the pack over the longer 657 kilometer special stage to finish over six minutes ahead of the of ahead of his closest competitor last year's winner Stefan Peter Hansel. Nasser al Atia finished third on the day. 2010 Dakar winner Sainz now holds a two-minute overall lead ahead of Nani Roma, while al Atia now sits third, almost five minutes behind. Stage 5 continues on Thursday and sees drivers head from San Juan to Tacoma.